When you create a mask in After Effects, if you have difficulty controlling the points in the mask, you can get better control over the points with this method. Especially if you are trying to prepare an animation with mask pads, it is not difficult to control the points with null objects targeted to the points of the mask. First, let's create a new composition of 1920 by 1080. It doesn't matter the duration or color, because we will focus on another topic independent of this. After creating our sequence, I right click on the area here and create a new solid layer. We will see a window like this. In this window, we can specify the color. After specifying the color, I click OK. The solid layer is created. After creating a solid layer in timeline, let's draw a mask. Let's draw a square like this using this square here. We can edit the mask areas here by selecting the selection tool. But in some cases, it can be difficult and troublesome to select this mask. To select the points here. Our main intention is to eliminate this inconvenience. To do this, we have an option under window called Create Nulls from Pets. When we click on this option, we will see a window like this. Let's collapse this window. In this window, we will select the first option here. So, we will select the Points Follow Nulls option. However, we need to activate another selection before you can select it. One of the options that comes when you click on the arrow you see inside the mask. Make sure the Mask Pad option is selected. After that, when I click on this button, as you can see, it creates 4 null objects for me. So, why 4? Because there are 4 points in the square we created. The more points we make this mask with, the more null it will create. So, what is the advantage of this null? The advantage is this. Normally, as we just saw, it can be difficult to make selections on points in some cases. But here, it is much easier to make selections on null layers than on points. For example, if I want to move the point at the bottom left of the square, I can click on the null object here to make it move. Or if I want to move the point on the top right, I can move it quickly. This is the biggest advantage of nulls. So, where and how else can we use these nulls? We can give position movements to these null layers. I mean like this. For example, I select both nulls here. I press the letter P on the keyboard. Position properties are opened. I click on the icons of these position properties. And then, when I move the timeline forward a little bit, and I move this a little bit, as you can see, we have actually moved the points of the frame. If we make them closer, we will get much faster animation. As you can see, we can give movement to the points of this mask that we created very easily as we did here. We can even edit expressions such as the wiggle effect. Let's give position a wiggle effect for example, and let's play it. As you can see, we can edit expressions like the wiggle effect and intervene on points in this way. Let's give them all a wiggle effect. Let's give the wiggle effect with random numbers. When we use this button more while animating, when we use masks while preparing moving objects, and when we want to give motion to these masks, we can control the situation much faster and clearly by giving motion to these nodes, instead of giving motion on the points. That was the goal here, to be able to control the points. And in this way, we can easily control the points, as you can see. That's all for this video. If today's video was useful to you, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. Thank you for watching.